Marvel is a well-worn staple of science fiction writers. In the 1984 film The Terminator, a cyborg assassin played by Arnold Schwarzenegger is sent back in time from 2029 to 1984 to kill Sarah Connor, whose son will one day become a savior against machines in a post-apocalyptic future. In today's story, we'll explore what scientists today say about time travel. Is time travel possible? If it is, then why haven't our children from the future come to visit us here? Galileo, Newton and all of the great scientists thought of space and time as absolute, but Einstein taught us otherwise. Einstein's theory actually does allow the possibility of time travel. There are even blueprints like gigantic spinning cylinders made of space and time. And if you go around that cylinder, you end up where you left. You wind around these cosmic strings and come back to where you started. Let us imagine a scenario in the future, say 2050. when we finally invent the time machine let us assume then that a person from 2050 decides to travel back in time to 2020 with the cure to coronavirus so that this whole pandemic can be avoided now since no time traveler is here with a vaccine from the future does this mean that time travel is not possible if time travel is possible then why has no one traveled back in time to save the jews from hitler one could go back in time and prevent the entire room from burning If humans will eventually figure out to time travel then why haven't we met people from the future does this mean that time travel is not possible what about the movies then are they all just exaggeration of scientific theories or worse hypothesis in 1935 einstein and physicist nathan rosen used the theory of general relativity to elaborate on the idea proposing the existence of bridges through space time These bridges connect two different points in space-time, theoretically creating a shortcut that could reduce travel time and distance. The shortcuts came to be called Einstein-Rosen bridges or wormholes. Einstein's great insights of 1905 was to recognize that space and time are personal. Your time flows at one rate and my time flows at another. What you see is space and I may see a mixture of space and time. Einstein's theory of general relativity talked about space and time as a sheet, kind of like a 2D surface. The theory says that if you put matter or energy into that space, then it curves and distorts itself and can even stretch. It is the response of space and time to matter and energy. Like the sun, if we put a big spherical ball of stuff in space, then it wraps space and time such that through that wrapped space, it turns into an orbit. The earth goes around the sun because it's just rolling, minding its own business through the curved surface. And light bends around the sun because it's traveling through the curved surface. In Einstein's theory, we can still write the geometry down. We can do the calculations and see the warp drive. We can construct wormholes that connect distant regions of the universe which we could use as time machines. All we have to do is try and specify where we'd put that matter and what kind of stuff will we put there to make the geometry fold in that way. What sort of stuff makes the universe warp itself? As it turns out to our current knowledge, such kind of stuff does not exist. It is the sort of matter or sort of energy that has properties that do not exist in the nature as far as we know. The two greatest theory of 20th century relativity and quantum theory fight each other and the great ambition of the 21st century is to unify them. Kip Thorne, one of the world's leading authorities on relativity black holes and wormholes, said that there are very strong indications that wormholes that a human could travel through are forbidden by the laws of physics. That's sad, that's unfortunate, but that's the direction in which things are pointing. Even Stephen Hawking wrote a paper called the Chronology Protection Conjecture in which the conjecture is that the laws of nature are such that you cannot have a stable wormhole and you can't build a time machine. If you like this video please like share and subscribe to our channel.